how is China able to keep food prices and the cost of basic necessities so low? Well, you just found out the answer. It's because of competition. The, the food industry, the grocery industry isn't controlled by big chain supermarkets. For example, in Canada, there's like four or five big chains that own basically every single grocery store brand where 90% of people shop. Same with USA and Europe or even, even France or France, how you say France. So yeah, everything's basically owned by mega corporations who have a monopoly on groceries prices, but not in China. Over here in China, things are grown locally over here. So yeah, some stuffs are obviously grown at industrial scale on uh, on big farms and uh, greenhouses. But when it gets so, anyone though could just buy from those places and resell on the street, or if you got a small business, small retail shop, or on the side of the road. So this creates competition without inefficiencies. When you have a big company, there's gonna be a lot of overhead costs, bureaucracy and all that, middle management, upper management, all that. It's just, it's just inefficient. So a communist country like China can have free enterprise where people are free to do their own business with little, little regulation. But in Western demo crazy capitalistic countries, there's actually a monopoly, like it's the Soviet Union or East Germany. It's, but only difference that instead of everything being controlled by the government in East Germany or Soviet Union, it's controlled by mega corporations and mega bosses. So it's basically creating the same economic inefficiencies that, that you're observing now. People, it's in the last four years over here in China, prices of stuff have not gone up even though the CPI is 2%, but when you look at grocery prices, forget a dish of fried noodles or whatever, it's the same thing, still 10 right, maybe, or $2. And even stuff like this, clothes over here, you could buy stuff like $1, Canadian dollars or USD when you convert it, because everything is so cheap and people still make money. When you have a bunch, when you have nice infrastructure over here, Anything is possible. Anyone could just buy stuff online for cheap and it comes with big trucks and people, no, it, it, when you divide a, a big truck worth of stuff by a, a 500 customers or 100 customers, it's much cheaper than shipping by low volume UPS or FedEx or DHL in Western countries.